In an unexpected development, given Wood's shifting position on GM and Ford's recent difficulties, many of us were shocked to learn that Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Management had just made an investment in GM. In this video, we'll examine why Wood's prediction is so important, what it means for the larger auto industry, and how Tesla's recent price cuts fit into the bigger picture. Before we get started, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Wood believes that Tesla's stock could reach an astounding $3,000 by 2025. The success or failure of his new position on GM is sure to have a significant impact on the industry perception for years to come. This forecast is astounding and emphasizes the possible difficulties that established automakers like GM and Ford may have in the upcoming years as they attempt to compete with more recent and inventive businesses. This forecast stands in stark contrast to other analysts' more optimistic assessments, including Morningstar's David Whitney, who just spoke with Sandy Monroe and has a fair value of 68 for GM stock. Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, acknowledged that the business has lagged behind in terms of EVS. In China, where digital EV products are becoming more and more popular, Farley stated that he intended to confront the accomplishment of Henry Ford and win the world by developing an affordable car for everyone. According to Farley, it is imperative to understand that providing goods at various price points, rather than only luxury goods from the 1970s, will be necessary for success. Ford, on the other hand, believed that it could compete in the set-in and hatchback market. But its business in Europe struggled, and it discovered its strength lies in the pickup truck industry with Maverick. Farley observed that DM's market share drastically declined from 60 to nearly nothing, while Toyota, previously with no market share, soared to the top due to producing the cars that people wanted. As a result, Farley believes that considering the entire market, not just a limited portion of it, is the winning strategy. While some may not believe Farley and Ford and the unexpected turn of events, Farley acknowledged that Ford is presently in second place, just behind Tesla with only 6.2% of the EV market share. Nevertheless, he said that Ford should be proud of its 95 electric advancements. If you've been trading or investing, you may be familiar with Wood's ARK Invest Management, which has acquired more than 150,000 shares of General Motors DM for its Autonomous Technology and Robotics Fund, RQ. But what is it? RQ is an actively managed exchange-traded fund, ETF, that is focused on disruptive innovation and is managed by ARK Invest, a reputable investment management company. The purpose of the ETF is to expose investors to the burgeoning autonomous technology and robotics business. It makes investments in businesses engaged in the creation, manufacturing, and distribution of self-driving cars, automation, and robotics technologies. Businesses that ARCQ invests in are anticipated to profit from the rising demand for autonomous technology, which includes drones, robots, and self-driving cars. These technologies have the potential to completely transform a number of industries, including manufacturing, transportation, logistics, and healthcare. The ETF holds equities of businesses that produce autonomous cars, drones, 3D printers, and other products. The foundation of REIT's investment strategy is a blend of top-down and bottom-up research. The fund managers execute in-depth company-specific research to find the greatest investment possibilities, in addition to conducting significant study on the macroeconomic and technological trends that are anticipated to affect the autonomous technology and robotic sectors in the future. The fund's managers are willing to take concentrated positions in companies that they believe have strong growth prospects, which can result in a high level of volatility in the fund's performance, but also offers the potential for outsized returns. Our Ku is known in these markets for its high-conviction investment approach. As a whole, investors have a rare opportunity to participate in the emerging markets for robotics and autonomous technologies with our key because of its strong conviction investment strategy and emphasis on disruptive innovation. The ETF may be a desirable choice for investors looking to gain exposure to this quickly expanding this investment is noteworthy because it demonstrates that even rapidly expanding technology businesses, like his ARC, are acknowledging the potential of legacy manufacturers and the ways in which the car industry is evolving. The move by ARC is encouraging for the auto industry as a whole because it shows that traditional automakers can adapt to the changing landscape and remain competitive, especially in areas like electric vehicles and autonomous technologies. In addition, it highlights DM's efforts in these areas, which are being noticed and may pay off in the future. As the car industry continues to evolve, 
It also demonstrates the possibility for partnership between legacy manufacturers and more innovative startups like Tesla. As always, investors should have an open mind and take a variety of aspects into account when making investment decisions. According to Wood, Tesla's recent price reductions are not a threat to the brand. Rather, they present a challenge for rival automakers trying to keep up. Tesla's cost leadership and battery technology are the reasons behind these price reductions, and other automakers must adopt this technology in order to stay competitive and prevent losses. Tesla made a calculated strategic decision to lower prices, which could help the business in the long run. Tesla has the potential to grow its consumer base and market share, which might result in higher sales volume and better economies of scale. This might strengthen Tesla's competitive edge and make it harder for rival automakers to overtake it. One instance of how Tesla has effectively used price reductions to obtain a competitive the introduction of the Model 3 is advantageous. The Model 3 was unveiled by Tesla at a somewhat reduced starting price compared to other previous models, which made it more affordable for a larger variety of customers. It also enabled Tesla to draw a sizable number of pre-orders for the Model 3, which aided in the company's establishment as a prominent participant in the electric vehicle market. The company's decision to lower the price of the Model S earlier this year was another example of Tesla using pricing as a strategic tool. While some analysts expressed concern that this move could damage Tesla's brand value and profit margins over time, supporters of the company contended that the company's cost leadership and economies of scale would allow it to maintain its margins while lowering prices. Reduced costs might also allow Tesla to increase its market share and carry on with its innovative electric vehicle development. Market Although some Wall Street experts disagree with Tesla's recent pricing, Tesla's growing production volume enables it to invest more in R&D, which can further strengthen its competitive advantage and make it harder for other manufacturers to catch up. Cuts because of concern that they would eventually harm the company's profit margins and damage its brand value lower pricing have the potential to undermine Tesla's brand, which is based on exclusivity and luxury. Critics also note that rising supply chain or battery manufacturing costs may limit Tesla's capacity to keep cutting prices. Supporters of Tesla contend that the business will be able to keep its margins while maintaining its leadership in battery technology and economies of scale. Cassie Wood believes that the company is in trouble because legacy automakers have been sluggish to adopt new technology, notably electric vehicles. The traditional automobile sector is being disrupted by new entrants like Tesla Rivian and Lucid Motors, which puts pressure on legacy manufacturers to adjust to the shifting market in addition to facing competition from these new competitors. Regulating issues also confront legacy automakers. Governments everywhere are enforcing more stringent emissions laws that will make it more challenging for automakers to keep making gas-powered vehicles to stay competitive in this evolving landscape. Legacy automakers will need to invest heavily in new technologies and adapt their business models to meet the demands of consumers and regulators. This may require significant changes to the supply chain manufacturing process and marketing strategies. Regulators are pushing for greater investment in EVS. We appreciate you viewing our video, and we hope you enjoyed it enough to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel.